Well, monitoring has now ended for the remaining people in Dallas who may have been exposed to Ebola. The end of that 21 day period, though, passed with little fanfare as the virus has essentially vanished from the national headlines. Rebecca Cooper joins us now with more on that and what's being done to protect Americans from Ebola now. Rebecca? Well, Leon and Allison, make no mistake, this will still go down in history as already the deadliest outbreak of Ebola ever. But for now, the fears, at least here in the United States, seem to be subsiding. For weeks, it dominated the news. This is a CBS News special report. Grabbing everyone's attention. President Obama has just spoken to reporters about the Ebola outbreak. Fear and catastrophic predictions leading the news daily. Starting right now on ABC's This Week. Out of control, the Ebola outbreak spreading fast. But then the media seemed to move on. On our broadcast tonight, cliffhanger. We're just hours from elections across the country. Not so fast, say some. Hospitals across the country are still monitoring patients with possible Ebola symptoms, including in South Carolina Friday. And President Obama this week laid out this as his first priority for Congress. Funding to ensure that our doctors, scientists, and troops have the resources that they need to combat the spread of Ebola. We've obtained an internal airline document notifying ticket agents. Haiti has now become yet another country, placing a new ban on travelers from Western Africa. But many U.S. residents today say much of the fear here seems to have receded along with the headlines. Not too many people has gotten infected, so I think it's under control a little bit. I think it was blown out of proportion a little bit in the media. It's a very slow-moving disease. I mean, look at it now. We, we, there's nobody in this country that has it. Houston healthcare worker Larissa Evans says there was too much hype and excessive Ebola fear. Still, she says it is deadly and some precautions are warranted. Just like any other communicable disease, we do have to take standard, pre standard precautions. Now, hospital officials in Charleston today say there is a patient in isolation being monitored for Ebola-type symptoms, but they say they believe that patient, while in isolation, is actually at low risk of actually carrying the virus. Rebecca Cooper, ABC7 News. All right.